Hey guys, Rehat from Nag here. I've condensed the Nag show a bit, so you'll see more of them on your newsfeed. There's just too much to cover, so let's jump into it. In this episode, we're taking a look at Wi-Fi 7. It's been popping up everywhere, and when I received this little unit, this GLI Net Slate 7, a really cool dual band Wi-Fi 7 travel router, I figured it was time to tell you more about the next home Wi-Fi tech that you'll be seeing. But before I get into the details of this powerful little router, here's a question for you. How much faster do you think Wi-Fi 7 is compared to Wi-Fi 6? Two times, three times, four times, maybe more? Come up with your answer, think about it quickly. I'll tell you all about it right now. Wi-Fi 7, officially called IEEE 802.11BE, is the newest evolution of wireless networking. If Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E were speed boosts, Wi-Fi 7 is like strapping a rocket engine to your connection. It offers data rates of up to 46 gigabits per second. That's nearly five times faster than Wi-Fi 6. And it does so while reducing latency to practically real-time levels. There's a couple of technologies within Wi-Fi 7 that really makes this technology shine and gives it that amazing data throughput. Firstly, it's got wider channels, up to 320 megahertz. Now, for those of you that doesn't mean anything, it's essentially a wide lane highway. It's a great technology that I heard somewhere. It's a wide lane highway uh, that allows more cars, of course, more data throughput across more channels. It also features advanced modulation and a clever multi-leak operation that lets your device use multiple bands simultaneously. Let's just say you get more data per packet, broader channels allowing more devices and overall faster speeds with Wi-Fi 7, even if you still have Wi-Fi 6 devices on your network. So why is Wi-Fi 7 so good? Here's the fun part. Wi-Fi 7 isn't just about bragging rights on speed tests. It's about efficiency and stability in ways previous standards simply couldn't deliver. First up, it's ultra low latency, perfect for cloud and VR gaming and competitive esports where even a 10 millisecond hiccup can mean a lost match. Better device handling. No more Wi-Fi wars when the whole household streams Netflix, downloads patches and jumps into online lobbies at the same time. 4K and 8K streaming ready. Streaming high bitrate video without buffering or compression artifacts becomes standard with Wi-Fi 7. Multi-link operation means devices can bond multiple connections across 2 GHz, 5 GHz and 6 GHz bands simultaneously for speed and reliability. So Wi-Fi 7 isn't just a flex for gamers, it's going to make a real change in your digital ecosystem around the house. For gaming on any wireless device, this is certainly going to be a big boost in performance. In short, Wi-Fi 7 isn't just an incremental update, it's the kind of upgrade that takes wireless from good enough to wired level performance without any wires. For gamers, creators, and just about anyone living a connected life, it's a massive step forward, and I'm excited to change my devices to Wi-Fi 7. And I'm not just saying, it's actually something I've been battling with at home. My current Wi-Fi 5 mesh network is starting to kind of show its age, and I've been looking around at what to upgrade to. Wi-Fi 6 obviously is the obvious choice, but I've been reviewing a couple of Wi-Fi 7 routers, so the question has become obvious. Should I just make that leap? Now, while I've been sitting on the fence about the upgrade, since I've tested this little Wi-Fi 7 travel router, I think I've made up my mind. So let's check this thing out. Say hello to the cutest and most powerful travel router you've seen yet. This is the GLI Net Slate 7, and this thing needs to be in every ticket and gamer's backpack. Let me explain. The Slate 7 is a compact, fully featured travel router that behaves more like a mini networking appliance than a typical consumer hotspot. This little thing's got a Qualcomm Socron chip, 1GB of RAM, 512GB of flash storage, dual 2.5GB network ports, USB 3 and OpenWT under the hood. It has enough horsepower to run VPNs, AdGuard Home, Multi-WAN, Captive Portal Bypassing, quality of service rules and local file sharing, task you'd normally expect from a small server grade box. The chassis is small and weighs about 295 grams with two external antennas. In terms of power, it sips just under 18 watts before you hang USB devices off it, and you can even power it with a battery bank. You can also get nicer teas you normally only see on your home router, like drop-in gateway mode, DDNS, encrypted DNS, cloud management, granular firewall, port forward, and DMZ. There's also a one-tab guest SSID so your friends don't mooch on your main network. Keep in mind this isn't a tri-band router, the Slate 7 is dual-band only. 
The headline feature for Wi-Fi 7 here, though, is the smartest spectrum use and MLO, that is multi-link operation on that 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequency. So what would you use this device for? Well, it's built for secure roaming that lets you connect to any network once and then keep your devices on your own SSID. You can run WireGuard back to a trusted endpoint and you can kill ads and trackers at the router level with AdGuard Home. You can also plug in a USB drive for quick private network file sharing. You can also use it as a pop-up network at events or LANs with a 2.5 gig backhaul. For remote work and road warriors, it's a throw-in-the-bag safety net. And for gamers, it's a latency-first way to take home network rules with you wherever you go, complete with per-device policies and quality-of-service rules in place. It's also the easiest device I've ever used to extend a Wi-Fi connection, believe it or not. Setting up the Slate 7 is really straightforward, and I love the interface that these guys use. You'll need the network know-how to get the most from the Slate 7, but almost anyone with some basic understanding of technology and setting up a router should be able to set this one up. I absolutely love the touchscreen on the front of the unit. This allows you to quickly toggle apps like VPNs without logging into the portal. Very nice. The screen also provides instant network status updates through color-coded indicators for Ethernet, tethering, repeater, and cellular modes. Speaking of which, I would have loved to see a SIM slot added to the Slate 7, but you can connect a phone or a wireless modem to this device directly should you need that functionality. Like I mentioned earlier, this is a great device for events too, and you can connect over 120 devices according to the manufacturer. Looking at some of the performance benchmarks, the screen speaks for themselves. Compared to my current mesh network, which is still Wi-Fi 5, I might add, I do get a remarkable speed improvement. And in fact, this little unit covers my entire one-bedroom townhouse much more effectively. If you want to always be in control of the network your devices connect to, the Slate 7 is a no-brainer. At around 3,500 Rand imported from Amazon.com, it's really not a bad investment. I've sadly not seen any of these locally, so do let me know if you spot one in the market. Let me know what is your opinion on Wi-Fi 7. Are you looking at the upgrade and do you see a need for that speed improvement in your setup? Until the next episode, please do check out nag.co.za and shop.nag.co.za for the latest NAG magazine. And don't forget, you can also buy it at takealot.com. Until the next show, 